Conversation surrounding the proposed Mark Clark extension project's impact on traffic and development. It's been talked about for years, but some claim a newly filed application could pose a threat to the environment. The South Carolina Department of Transportation recently submitted an application to fill in more than 38 acres of wetlands to construct the Mark Clark extension. The Mark Clark project would construct around nine and a half miles of new roadway starting from West Ashley through Johns and James Islands. As you might imagine, some people have varying opinions on this. Emily Johnson is live on Johns Island to tell us more about the details included in the permit application. Emily. Roth, I spoke with people from West Ashley to Johns and James Island who all expressed concerns over the potential approval of this permit and the detrimental effects on the environment. Now, actual funding for this project has yet to be approved, but a large portion of it remains and is up to a 2024 sales tax referendum. Now, more specifically, the project would impact 27 acres of freshwater wetlands, a small amount of streams and tributaries, and just over 11 acres of tidal or critical areas. Area waters. The project would also not just impact these wetlands, but completely destroy and fill them. Areas of concern expressed include stormwater drainage, shading where pre existing wildlife would go, and long term effects to the area. Two environmental organizations that I spoke with say the scope of the impact would be much larger than 38 acres. That's direct impacts to wetlands that will just be gone. 38 acres. But in addition to that, the project builds two new bridges across the Stono River um, that have much more stormwater runoff and pollution from things like uh, tire particles, um, gasoline, motor oil, all of that is being washed directly off those bridges into the rivers and wetlands that this bridge is crossing. Now, before the permit can be approved, the Federal Highway Administration will conduct an environmental impact statement along with the Army Corps of Engineers. Now, before that can actually be approved, this statement will also play into the fact of what environmental impact it has and for the sake of public interest. Reporting on James Island, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.